driving along the road up higher there, I saw this orange bucket, so I parked down that way to get this orange bucket, to think that somebody would leave an orange bucket out here. And they left plastic, plastic bags. There's really no excuse for that. It's got holes in it and stuff. Holes in it and somebody just left it. Look at that mess there. People, when you come camping, you pack in your stuff and you pack it the hell out. You do not leave it. The forest is not your dumping ground. I saw up ahead, there's a baby in a stroller type, I don't know, playpen or something, but it's a baby. There's a nice dog hooked so that it won't run away. And a great big cow coming toward it. Bunch of empty chairs. I saw no adult, no human besides the baby. I want to make sure somebody is watching that fire and that baby besides the dog. Good news, there are adults. They were out of sight because of the hill. Good. You know, you can't take things for granted. I'm driving by and all I see is baby and dog and I don't see any people at all. Any adults. You never know what goes on these days. You see something a little strange, you have to stop and check. Now look, somebody left their barbecue grill. Well, left their barbecue grill. Kind of dreading. Ah! No, no. Barbecue grill, sausage, nasty. What are you thinking? Damn it. I've got to go throw this away, right? Hey, watch out, watch out, watch out. Listen, people. We have bears around here and cougars. Every place you ever go up in these mountains, there are bears. Stop it, buddy. You can't have this. And cougars. Come here. I'm sorry. No, no. And they would come here tonight and dig through that, bring it all over the place. And then once they, oops, let me get, I got tangled up with these dogs. Once they know there's a food source, they'll keep coming back. So the next campers who come will probably have a bear bothering them in the night. I remember when Roy and I lived in Colorado. We'd go camping every weekend, just about. Up in the Colorado mountains, I can still remember one time when some people, oh, about 200 yards from us, broke camp in the middle of the night. We could hear them. We were thinking, what on earth? And screaming and stuff. Well, next morning, we walked over there to see what's going on. It was very obvious a bear had clawed one of their tents. You know, there was a big group of people, like three big tents and stuff. You, and, and interestingly enough, the bear had clawed, torn up, and was eating the stuffing had it, you know, uh, of a great big teddy bear that must have belonged to some child. It was obvious to us what had happened. And of course, those people had just taken off. They left all sorts of things. You don't leave a food source at a campsite. Never, never, because then... All the wild animals realize, oh, I can get food here, and they'll come back and come back and come back. There's something called being a good steward and being a good camper. You pack your stuff in, and you pack every last bit of it out. You don't leave stuff like this around, or that bucket, which I still need to get. Return back to the scene of the crime, and I'm getting all this stuff in here to... Go throw away. We're going to have to go into the village. We're going to have to go into Cloudcroft to throw this away. I, I won't keep garbage in the back of my truck. When you have garbage, you've got to take it into town right away because bears, cougars, 
you don't want them trying to rip open your vehicle <laughs> to get to any of this. So we're going to have to cut this short. But we had our biggest walk at the earlier place, didn't we? Yes. A mile or so beyond Bluff Springs in Cloudcroft, New Mexico. It's a Sunday. Look how crowded it is. I've been passing a lot of vehicles. People wave. I wave back. Oh, they're leaving. Hey, buddy, stay here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. We let them leave. We let them leave. Good boy. When you come up here, have a good time. Just pack out every last bit of your trash. Bye-bye.